welcome to rpb resonance chemistry so now i'm going to discuss about one of the most important topic regarding to the like a csar net and gate chemistry paper okay so this is very important topic for uh, like uh, those highly competitive exams csar and gate exam so this is concept from like a uh, reagents especially it is came from organometallic reagents in organic chemistry okay so today topic is a complex induced proximate effect simply it is known as cipe okay so many of the students they didn't they didn't know about this effect that is a cipe that is nothing but a complex induced proximity effect complex induced proximity effect now i'll explain those effect very simply so this is the like a uh, aromatic compound simply it is a aryl compound okay so here x is equal to many many type of groups now i'll explain the, uh, those are the x groups okay so whenever aryl compounds treated with uh, organolithiums either secondary lithiums or general uh, primary lithiums okay secondary butyl lithium or n butyl lithium whatever the lithiums so organo like uh, aryl compounds treated with organolithium reagents uh, it forms the like uh, it forms the metallation at ortho position it forms the metallation at ortho position it forms the metallation at ortho position why because so here it is the it is the hydrogen here it is the x group so that x group which can directs the like a butyl lithium towards the ortho group that's why those are called dom directing to direct into the ortho methylation dom is nothing but it directed to the ortho methylation ortho methylation now here let's let's assume here it is the like r lithium let's imagine here it is the like um, like it, it is it, let's imagine r lithium okay so this x group which can coordinate with lithium atom okay so which is readily coordinate with lithium atom so then the bonded to electrons will obstruct the proton will obstruct the proton from ortho position and these bonded to electrons like will obstruct the lithium so simply here it produces the lithium here it produces the lithium that is simply it is called as organolithium reagents organolithium reagents will abstract the proton from aryl compounds will abstract the proton from aryl compounds uh, which are adjacent to the some x group simply it is known as complex induced proximity effect i'll repeat my sentence again organolithium reagents will abstract the proton from ortho position of aryl compounds which having the some x group of aryl compounds which having the some x group so those x groups are either nr2 or 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 ch2or ch2nr2 chor or that is the case of cho methyl o methyl co nr2 like uh, amide functionality co nhr like monoalkyl amide functionality like uh, o co nr o ch2o methyl so to nr like uh, sulfonamide groups also sulfonamide groups also so those x groups can easily participate the like uh, can easily exhibit the complex induced proximity effect complex induced proximity effect so now the uses of uh, this cip effect uh, when it forms the like a uh, ortho methylation when it creates the ortho methylation so then these part will act as a negative and it is positive that negative means it is a nucleophile so that nucleophile easily easily attacks the electrophile and it can create the many like a many carbon carbon electrophilic single bonds okay many single bonds for example if that is like if electrophile is equal to either aldehydes or ketones or co2 or epoxide or primary alkyl halides like a primary alkyl halides so those are the electrophiles okay so whenever it forms the like ortho methylation that ortho position will act as the nucleophile that nucleophile will uh, attacks the electrophile will capture the electrophile and it forms the c electrophilic new bond c electrophilic new bond this is the simplest uh, thing that is regarding to the organolithium reagent that is nothing but complex induced proximity effect i think it is clear so okay. simply it is nothing but abstraction of a proton abstraction of a proton by using the organolithium reagents from aryl compounds like from aryl aromatic compounds either heterocyclic compound heteroaromatic compounds also it is also possible for the heteroaromatic compounds this is the simplest complex induced proximity effect okay now let's move on to the like some of the exceptions in cip okay it having some exceptions so 
So after discussing the ex exception, I will draw the one of the uh, good pie chart for CIP examples. Okay. Now, so the first ex uh, the first exception. Okay. So if X group is here, X group is there. So if X group is halogen, especially that is chlorine or bromine or iodine. Okay, either chlorine or bromine or iodine. So whenever we use the butyl lithium, instead of ortho lithiation or ortho metallation, it can easily participate the like metal halogen exchange process. Instead of ortho lithiation, it is easily replaces the metal group. Is it sorry? It is easily replaces the like a halogen group. Then simply it is called as that is metal halogen exchange process. This is nothing but metal halogen exchange process simply it is called as metal halogen exchange process i think it is clear okay so i'll after after the completion of cap i'll explain the metal halogen exchange process also okay so if it having the x x is equal to fluorine so fluorine cannot affects the direct like metal halogen exchange it affects the like a ortho metallation it affects the ortho metallation so it gives the ortho metallation. Okay, this is the first exception. This is the first exception. Now the second exception is, so here any substrate or any reactant it having the two types of a functional group. One is a nitrogen containing group, another one is a oxygen containing group. So when it happens, like uh, now I'll explain very clearly. So this is the group, like a uh, CH2, N methyl taken twice here it is the o methyl so this is the substrate okay so whenever these kind of substrate are there now we used the n butyl lithium in hexane solvent so this is the simple reaction when we used the n butyl lithium in hexane solvent so it can directly attacks the like a nitrogen ortho group so ortho position which is a respect to the nitrogen it it, it direct methylation takes place with respect to the like a nitrogen why because the nitrogen group it has the like a more coordinating ability so the nitrogen group which having the more coordinating ability coordinating ability due to the more coordinating ability which can direct its its ortho position over than the o methoxy group or oxygen group okay nitrogen it having the like more coordinating ability that's why it directs the metal group towards its ortho position over than the oxygen over than the oxygen this is the simplest thing now we will get the almost 80 percent yield 80 percent of yield now instead of um, like uh, n hexane like instead of n hexane here the combination n hexane is common sorry n butyl lithium here it is combination with a uh, Tamda, it is more complexating agent. Okay, Tamda is nothing but a tetramethylethylene diamond. This is more complexating agent. Complexating agent. Okay, uh, please ignore the spell spellings. So, in presence of some solvent, so butyl lithium, which is coordinated with complexing agent uh, like a, like a Tamda, so here it directs the ortho metallation with respect to the oxygen, with respect to the oxygen this is the second exception with respect to the oxygen why because here like a complexing getting a complexating agent which refers to the ortho position which refers to the like a ortho to oxygen okay ortho with respect to the oxygen but it gets only very less percent of 58 percent of yield i think it is clear okay so these kind of nitrogen and oxygen containing groups are there so the nitrogen or oxygen containing groups uh, which can treat it with n butyl lithium generally it, it gives the like a uh, ortho metallation with respect to the nitrogen due to the it's more like a uh, coordinating ability coordinating ability but when we use the like a uh, tamda it is more complexating agent uh, like which are already discussed at the like osmium tetroxide agent which can chelates the groups that's why uh, due to the it's a uh, complexing agent ability it directs the ortho ortho position with respect to the oxygen with respect to the oxygen these two are the like a uh, simple exceptions in cip simple exceptions in cip so now let us discuss the some of the examples now let's discuss the some of the examples okay now in case of uh, like uh, so here it is the co nr2 
simply it is nothing but a dimethyl like a dmg okay it is a dmg not a dimethyl glyoxam direct to direct to the methyl group directing to the like a methylation group not methyl directing to methylation group any group like a, which are represented in the x like in the form of x co nr2 co nhr so2 nr2 like those kind of materials or2 nr2 all the groups are uh, simply it is known as dmg okay those kind of groups okay so these kind of groups which are readily participate the like which are readily exhibits the like a readily exhibits the cip effect now let's compare the some of the examples whenever these kind of elements are there instead of di, uh, like a dimethyl we will take the dimethyl group alcl3 in methyl iodide we know that that is friedel craft alkylation okay so the friedel craft alkylation lessens the uh, its reactivity in presence of electron vitreum group uh, even though sometimes it shown the their character but it is a meta directing group it is meta directing group so we will get the, these kind of material but whenever we need the like a uh, methylation at ortho position this is the best group this is the best reaction whenever we use the like a corresponding organolithium reagent it creates the co nr2 like n methyl taken twice it creates the methylation that is a ortho lithium like a lithiation at ortho position and it creates the nucleophilicity at ortho ortho group then we use the methyl iodide simply we will get the methyl group co n methyl taken twice Method. This is the best way to prepare the ortho alkyl groups. Ortho alkyl groups are ortho carboxylic acids, like those kind of ortho uh, any type of alcohols. Okay, ortho attached alcohols. Those kind of groups are readily prepared the, uh, with the help of CAPE effect. With the help of CAPE effect. Now I'll give the very simple table or pie chart regarding to the uh, these CAPE examples. These CAPE examples. Okay, so this is the best example. CO and methyl, methyl. Okay, so when we use the like methyl iodide, we will get the. That means here it is already lithiation takes place. Then we will get the methyl group over there. CO. Okay, so I don't want to represent the all the molecules. Simply, it is nothing but DMG. Let's imagine it is the DMG. Okay. So then after we will take the like any kind of uh, ester, say HCOO ethyl, it is the ester, ester which donates the like uh, aldehyde group as an electrophile, ester which donates the aldehyde group as an uh, electrophile. So here it is nothing but DMF, DMF also uh, aldehyde as an electrophile, it is, it is also having the aldehyde as an electrophile, aldehyde as the electrophile so not only that we use the like co2 in presence of h plus we, we will get the carboxylic acid like we will get the carboxylic acid so not only this so some of the compounds like o2 in h plus so we will get the dmg in c like in oh or sometimes like a tocyl azide in presence of nabh4 Okay, so N3 in presence of NaBH4 it can convert into NH2. So directly it is ortho emination takes place. Ortho emination takes place. Or sometimes uh, in presence of uh, like diphenyl phosphorus chloride. So we use the these kind of reagents. Here it creates the PPH2 taken twice. That is phosphorus reagents, which can create the phosphorus reagents. Not only these compounds, uh, some of the like uh, halogens will also get the halogen derivatives halogen derivatives so these are the very important uh, uh, very important aspect to to synthesize the many of the different compounds many of the different compounds at uh, aromatic rings uh, at aromatic rings so these are the, these are the one of the example okay now i'll explain the some of the example also okay and write down okay so these are very very important examples So before going to the metal halogen exchange process, a very simple example is there. 
So here it is the like a self, uh, like oxygen derivative that is a furan which having the methyl group at a second position. This is a two methyl furan. Okay, when we use the butyl lithium here, like a uh, lithiation takes place at the fifth position. This is the like a uh, second position. Like the second or fifth based on the substituent, the second position. Okay, so then we use the these kind of material, like these kind of material. So this is the like primary uh, primary allyl that is nothing but uh, allyl allyl. Okay, when we use this kind of material, we will get these. This is the as a product. This one as product methyl. Okay, so simple reaction. What will happen in the presence of a butyl lithium? It creates the lithiation at second position, or like based on the substituent, it is fifth position. It creates the lithiation at fifth position. So that is act as a nucleophile. That nucleophile will attach the like a uh, allyl bromide which which can gives the like this kind of material this kind of a product okay then finally whenever in the presence of hydrolysis we will get the, this kind of a product okay so this is the product i think it is clear so when whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis here it is oh here it is oh these two are undergoes the like a uh, that means a keto enol tautomerization we will get this kind of material this kind of substance i think it is clear okay so Hetero compound, heterocyclic aromatic compounds can also give the this kind of CIPE effects. Not only this, so sometimes uh, like uh, thiophenol also gives this reaction. Thiophenol also gives the this this kind of reaction that is a uh, lithiation at text. So some of the times they are uh, like testing your knowledge. Okay, that means uh, so whenever in presence of furan and thiophen, so both are there, but uh, they are given in the only one equivalent of beta lithium one equivalent of butyl lithium which one readily lithiated or which one readily metallation takes place okay which one can readily participate in the metallation reaction either oxygen or sulfur absolutely like a thiophen readily participates in the reaction and uh, furan unaffected furan unaffected so this is the competition this is the competition for the CAP okay so I think it is a very clear it's very uh, like a simple abstraction of a proton like uh, abstraction of a proton from aryl ortho position or aryl compounds okay so we cannot uh, say the like ortho compounds in case of uh, aromatic com uh, like heterocyclic compound it, it 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 does not apply okay so simply abstraction of a proton from uh, aryl compounds and then after it creates the it creates the negative charge over there and it acts as a nucleophile whenever in the presence of some of the X groups which are represented in the starting of the video. Those are the NR2 like COnR, CONHR, like SO2, NR2, those kind of X groups in presence of those kind of X groups. So there are some exceptions are there. If X is equal to chlorine, bromine, iodine, it uh, metal halogen reaction takes place, metal halogen exchange takes place uh, instead of ortho Met, methylation that was the first exception and sec second exception in presence of nitrogen and oxygen simply nitrogen can having the more like a uh, more complexing ability so not the complex and coordinating ability that's why it directs the metal group it's out the position over than the oxygen over than the oxygen now second in presence of uh, like more complex it isn't uh, like a uh, tamda it it prefers the like out the position towards its oxygen towards the oxygen now some of the examples are also discussed now let's move on to the metal halogen exchange process metal halogen exchange process so it is very important for the CSIR exam okay so they are given in the direct copy paste questions from George Giffel and the Kabilim characters these examples came from those start those kind of standard books only okay now now I'm very interested to take the like a para bromo -toling. okay so simply whenever I uh, we use the like a methyl lithium so this is the so metal halogen exchange let's imagine so it, it it follows the metal halogen exchange that indicates so metal group and halogen group in these two compounds which are transfer or which are uh, like a uh, transfers their metal and halogen group uh, now that means which are exchange their metal and halogen group here it is a metal is replaced and here halogen is the replaced methyl halide here it is the lithium so that indicates here it creates the here it creates the negative charge over there that means it is a nucleophile okay so or sometimes like a uh, same methyl lithium reagent are used so instead of metal halogen exchange process here it, it undergoes the metallation reaction metallation means it attacks the metal at a more acidic proton 
like more acidic proton is benzoylic one so that's why it undergoes the methylation at a uh, ch3 that is benzoylic position so this is very slow process this is very slow process but it is very faster process it is very fast process okay so that's why metal halogen exchange reaction it gives readily that means uh, it is very faster reaction it gives a very readily it is very faster reaction so in, let's take the, some of the example in presence of uh, like a three bromo thiophene it, it is also readily gives the like a metal halogen exchange process metal halogen exchange process not only these kind of aromatic uh, like a heterocyclic a six membered heterocyclic ring also gives the same result which is also gives the like the same result so this is also like an example of metal halogen exchange process not only these kind of uh, materials like a uh, cn in presence of bromide so here also butyl lithium it, it uh, replaces the lithium group and when we use the like benzophenone like a uh, it, it we will get the these kind of material oh phenyl phenyl cyanide phenyl phenyl cyanide so not only those groups uh, like a uh, no2br these kind of material these kind of reagents are uh, sorry these kind of substrates are also used for the uh, butyl lithium so no2 in presence of lithium so here we use the any kind of material any kind of electrophile we will get the no2 and ch2oh as a product CH2OH as a product. So after the hydrolysis, okay, after hydrolysis, we will get the, this kind of product. Okay. So this is the metal halogen exchange process. I think this is very very important class for those uh, CSAR and gate aspirants. So they are given in the like a uh, direct concept or either uh, indirect questions in any of the organic competitive exams. Okay. Any of the like organic problems. Okay. So they are given in the like organolithium reagent at uh, like uh, at in the presence of aryl compounds. Uh, this was very important factor to remember those kind of uh, those kind of uh, criteria that means aryl compounds which having the like reagent on arrow mark so arrow mark it having the like a very simple uh, organolithium reagent uh, this is the wonderful reaction this is the wonderful reaction i think uh, it is very helpful for you guys that is uh, like uh, it's very simple thing complex induced approximate effect i think it is very helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching